I am really excited about cutting up this avocado and I wanted to bring you along for the discovery as well because this one may be growing on the inside too. I bought four avocados and so far two out of four have been growing like crazy inside the meat of the avocado. This is a, I'm excited about having this plant um, grow because it has a real thin green skin on the outside. It's almost as if it's meant to be eaten because you sure don't want to have to um, try to peel it. So, are you ready? Let's see. So, well darn, I deliberately cut it really thin on one side, one edge, like that. So I wouldn't hurt the avocado and look what I did. I sliced through something, but it is actually growing. Now I guess I'm going to get my fingers dirty and see what we've got in here. Needless to say, I gave up on my idea for guacamole to go with my taquitos when I saw how well all of these are growing. And look at that, guys. It is. It's already growing. And um, I don't think the part that I accidentally cut is going to hurt it. I hope not. And um, let me get it, the rest of it out of its shell. Bring you back. Well, there you have it, our seed, our avocado seed, that's already been going to grow in the shell. is isn't so much on the outside there, but there's the end that's growing, and this bit right here that's coming through. So... There we have it here. I'll be planting it with the root down that way, like so, so that the avocado, and I'm going to cover it completely in dirt. For now, though, I'm going to put it into some water to keep it hydrated. And... It's kind of interesting because if you look at that avocado, it's not all dark and black and nasty looking. Um, it's still pretty green, but everything was growing in there and it's beautiful. See? It's all growing. Wish I'd bought a lot more of these at the nursery in California. Which is where I got them. I didn't buy them at the grocery store. So. But I didn't know that they'd be for planting. I figured. I'd have taquitos and guacamole. Okay. Here's the last one. Let's see if I can cut this without harming what's inside. I bet. What do you think? Is there going to be a beginning avocado tree inside? I'm sure hoping so. Auto is that little tiny roots go all the way around it. So I'm not even going to mess with that. See? All the veining. I didn't have a clue. I have learned so much just by having these avocados. I am so glad I bought them. See all those roots. Pretty cool, huh? And it looks like that avocado is viable. Not nearly enough for taquitos, but I'm going to chop it up. We'll have it on a salad. Or I could throw peeling and all, and have it in a smoothie. 
Oh, if you haven't tried avocado with any kind of smoothie, you're missing out. Give it a try sometime. Also, if you have seeds that haven't sprouted, if you have um, a heavy-duty mixer like my... Oh, I forgot the name of it. Vitamix, that's the name of it. I wanted to say KitchenAid, and that's my mixer. But if you have a Vitamix, you can put the whole seed in with uh, your smoothie, and it chops it all up, and you've got a fiber. So, and fiber is always good. Even on this side, as you can tell, um, it looks very different from that. And that one, even part of it, could be viable for eating the bottom piece. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't try the top one. It's dark. So, anyway, I am just really, really excited about this. I'm going to have four amazing brand new avocado trees growing. The other ones did very well, even with their very slow start. And I think especially with that slow start, uh, because they grew up stronger and in a year's time, they are absolutely beautiful. And they got beat up pretty well by wind and some sun when we put them out in the greenhouse. But all except for one or two have survived. And these also, these three avocado trees, um, starters, may winter inside our house until it's time to get them, get them outside next, next year sometime. And they need to be in a protected environment. I think, so they can grow in our weather conditions. I'm really excited, though. This is super cool. Okay, everybody. Over and out. Big hugs and blessings to all of you.